back again. This time, level one, fighting rope, fighting knots. Okay, so as before, start with the back up. Pull in, back up up nice and high. Okay, at this point, we get up a bit higher, take the juma off, put the juma above the knot, and we can go right up to the knot. Okay, so the new way that you train level one, level one, you do take your spear back up, put your back up on, and remove the other back up, right? That would be the one way to do it. Other way is if you don't have a spare backed up, what you can do this would be the old school way is we tie another alpine butterfly underneath there. Take a spare car still. And flip it straight in. Okay, that's if you didn't have a spare backup. Of course, I have a spare backup. All I'm going to do is I am going to put the backup fast enough. And remove the other backup. Now notice, I had done all of this before changing over. Because the changeover is ever so slightly different now. Instead of hanging in the descender, we are literally just going to put the descender in, stand up, and go straight past the knot. And I'll explain to you now why we do this. Okay, so back in the day, the Jumo was considered a point. Is no longer considered a point. So I've considered half a point. Try to turn myself around here. Right. Okay. So I've got my descender in. Close your mouth nice and high. Stand up. Remove the crawl. Now, at removing the crawl, if I didn't have the descender in, I would have gone on to one point. But because I have the descender in, I'm not on one point. So stand right up. Put the crawl in. Pass the knots. And remove the descent. Now, continue going up. And now I perform the changeover. Descend up below the crawl. space between the coal and your Juma's Garabina. Make sure you bring your shunt down. Turn it. And sit down nicely. Right. Now, I can descend down to the knot. Okay, so what I like to do as soon as the knot reaches this carabiner, that's my stopping point. Because it helps, it makes it easier to take the descender off. And I'll show you what I mean by now. So at this point, I need to stand back up. Come on. Up. Make sure you push your back up. Open your crawl now already. So when you stand back up, it's just in case of standing up, grabbing the rope. And putting the crawl in. 
Now, here's the reason why I left that little bit of slack. Because if I need to give myself some space to work here, I have that little bit of slack to do that. Pick the rope up, put, install the descender, and then leave the knot. Lock off. Now you will see there's a bit of slack here. So what we're going to do, part of the basics, we taught you to down plumb. You're going to stand up and down plumb. You're going to push your finger in there. And you see, I've reduced that gap now. Bring your jumo down, bring your shunt down. Now, you stand up, you can either down plumb all that slack out, like that. Bring your jumo down. And you shine down to the top of the knot, and now you're going to perform the changeover. Up, sit down slowly, remove the shimmer. Now I'm in decent place. I'm not ready to go yet because I've still got my back up there. So I'm going to take the other back up and put it underneath the knot. Then remove the other one. That's it. Fast and nuts, ready to come back down. Thanks for watching.